Okay, now we're going to talk about sine and cosine values for particular angles. And we'll start off with the 45 degree angle. And 45 degree angles show up in the real world and show up in, a, in math class in 45, 45, 90 triangles. And a 45, 45, 90 triangle is exactly what the name implies. It's a triangle that has a 45 degree angle and that's the 90 degree angle as indicated by the mark there and so this is obviously a 45 degree angle up here so it's a 45 45 90 triangle now remember what we know about 45 45 90 triangles this is the hypotenuse I'll call it H and according to the Pythagorean theorem the hypotenuse has to be the square root of this squared plus this squared well that's easy 1 squared plus 1 squared is just 2 so the hypotenuse of this triangle is the square root of 2. And that's true if the legs here, the short sides, are length 1. But we can apply that concept to a 45, 45, 90 triangle of any size. So instead of a, a leg of length 1, let's call this length A here. And that could be any number. This could be a really tiny triangle or a really huge triangle as long as it's 45, 45, 90. Okay, this will be the case. The hypotenuse, h, according to the Pythagorean theorem, will be the square root of this squared plus this squared. So that's the square root of a squared plus a squared. Well, that simplifies as the square root of 2a squared. And here we have an a squared under the radical. So that's equivalent to an a outside the radical. So that's just a times the square root of 2. And this is true for any 45, 45, 90 triangle. Regardless of the size, the hypotenuse is equal to the length of one side times the square root of two. That's always the case for a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Now knowing that, we can compute the sine ratio for a 45 degree angle. So look at this. Here's a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And this is a side of length one. It's marked right there and the hypotenuse is the square root of 2 and since the sine of an angle is always the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the hypotenuse then we can write the sine of 45 degrees is 1 over the square root of 2 and then the math police say that you are not allowed to have a radical in the denominator so we need in other words we need to rationalize the denominator make that a rational number and you might remember how to do that you should remember this from Algebra 1. I'm going to multiply this by square root of 2 over square root of 2 and up top that gives me the square root of 2 and on the bottom square root of 2 times square root of 2 is just 2. So this is equal to the square root of 2 over 2. The sine of a 45 degree angle is the square root of 2 over 2 and that's approximately 0 0.707. Those digits really go on forever but rounded to three places, that's 0 0.707. Those are good numbers to remember. This number shows up a lot just because 45 degree angles show up a lot. The sine of 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. It's approximately 0 0.707. And you should understand why that is the case. That arises from the fact that the hypotenuse is always the square root of 2 times the length of one of the sides. Now here's the same diagram but this side is marked now. This is the side that is adjacent to the 45 degree angle. So now we're talking about the cosine. And the cosine calculation ends up being exactly the same. The cosine of 45 degrees is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So that's 1 over the square root of 2. And of course the same uh, simplification or rationalization of the denominator can apply there and that's equal to the square root of 2 over 2 which is approximately 0 0.707. I could write that as approximately equal to 0 0.707. And those numbers will be true for any 45, 45, 90 triangle regardless of the triangle size. So learn this fact. The sine and the cosine of 45 degrees are the same. So that's simply a fact worth knowing. The sine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 over 2, and the cosine of 45 degrees 
is the square root of 2 over 2. So the sine of 45 and the cosine of 45 degrees are the same, and they're both equal to the square root of 2 over 2. And you can memorize those facts, but you should also understand why those are the case. Those facts are true based on the properties of a 45-45-90 triangle.